Okay, hello and welcome to One North Main Brockton's Magazine Show. I'm Jay Miller, your host. With me is the One North Main crew, the Summerfest crew. We got Isaac, yep. Postman, Phil, Mad Dog. I will be walking around with a chintzy JVC 100. The team will have the better resources, the better camera operators, um, all around the better way to go. But I'm going to get creative. We got a guy here, he's all fired up for Summerfest. How you doing today, sir? Doing very well, thank you for asking. Um, so basically, I'm going to be separated from the team today. Uh, what group is this? What group is this? Little Discoveries. And what is Little Discoveries doing today? We are making s'mores and sticker pictures. That's something we have to look forward to today. We have an action-packed half hour coming up. We're either going to keep this footage or we're going to use that footage. I think you're going to be more entertained with me. We got the woodworkers here. We'll be chucking in with them. We're going to have live entertainment. I'm going to do a couple of song and dances with you. We've got preschool, we've got elementary school, we've got high school, we've got activities for everybody, every age group. It's Summerfest 2018. We're not going to stop until this show's over. Sit back, relax, and see what your community, the community of today, Summerfest, has to offer. square block of wood, put it between centers, turned it round and put a tenon so the chuck will hold it because I have to turn one end unsupported. So once it's round, now I can start forming a top with a series of tools, um, then we apply some color, part it off and put them out to give to the kids. It's more an eye. It's, you know, it's you, you get the results you want, you sneak up on it. It's not all one cut, it's a whole bunch of different cuts that eventually come out to the shape you're looking for. He's telling us. Try that at home, okay? We'll see if this guy right here can do it. Take it. Make, make sure it works though. Oh my goodness! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
What's your name? Mary Carmen. Okay, what are we doing here at this table? What is this table? This table is for little discoveries, and we're going to be making pictures with stickers for the children. Can I have a sticker? Can I have a sticker? Please, please, please. Yes, you can. You want this one? <laughs> Bam! The rumor is that the little discoveries tables, they brought a friend and it's Caterpillar. Don't tell anybody though. Don't tell anybody. Oh, we're doing face painting, and tattoos, you can get stickers. Did you point just a birthmark on your face? A birthmark? Yes. Alright, this is the WAVE group, part of a youth works program during the summer. 14 and 15 year olds, is that correct? So it's a bunch of 14 and 15 year olds dominating, doing a lot of great volunteer work. Doing it again today at Summerfest. I've asked for a birthmark, it might have been a big ask, but what are we looking at here? What are we looking at? Come on, Nicolene. <laughs> Looks like what you All right. All right. So you did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. The pleasure is all yours. It is. The pleasure is all mine. What do you think, Nicolene? I'm, I said that wrong. You did a great job. Waves program. Baywib, Youth Works, Mass Hire, whatever they call, they do it well. Wow. Well, I moved on from Blue. Blue is acting fussy, so now we've got uh, Pinky Tuscadero. Pinky Tuscadero is now with me. Hi, Pinky. Hi, Pinky. Pinky smells good. Why is it slime? Um, I think they added soap to it. Good news is, I took a quick shower, but I didn't wash my hands thoroughly. Is everybody having fun at the fun and games table? Yeah. All right, let's do a card game. Let's go. Which one do you think it is?
custom shirt from Fish Out of Water. Please take it out the bag and show it to the crowd. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we got a couple more shirts and we got some more prizes to give out. The next challenge. I won. I won. I won. I won. Me. It's me. Right, so that planetarium show is out of this world. Matt, you've yet to tell us a joke that makes us laugh. I, I might have to plan it a little bit better. Plan it, get it, plan it. Matt's a long way from Brockton. Getting my caricature done. I apologize for taking your spot. I'm sorry. I will get you some candy. I promise. Now we're friends. Wow! I'm short, unattractive. We're gonna get a bald time after. Bald. I am very hairy, my nose hair. I don't know if he's gonna get the nose hair. I don't know if he's gonna get the hair in the ear. Wow. Nice to you, Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, a little, little lacking of muscle. Posty, I'm a little lacking of muscle in this picture. Um, Sorry to say, Jay, you don't have any muscle. I don't have any muscle? That's, I mean, that's a pretty accurate picture of you. I have no muscle. I have no soul. And it looks like I have some stubble. That's a, a half-hearted mustache. Um, great. <laughs> no, it's actually very good. Oh, oh, oh man. I heard there was a caterpillar coming, but look over my shoulder, dude. What's his name? Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, are you excited to be here at Summerfest? Nice. Yeah, Charlie's here. Woo! Charlie looks like he's ready for some fun. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie the Caterpillar's never been at Summerfest. This is one of the great moments in Summerfest history that Charlie the Caterpillar has shown up. Some of you may know Amy Corum, uh, legendary. Uh, that, you know, that word's thrown around often, but legendary pianist for Brockton. Uh, she was a prodigy at a young age, and she plays all sorts of different instruments. She's an outstanding teacher, and one of her, one of her students is playing right now, so let's listen in.
are here today with my daughter, who's actually a Brockton Raiders cheerleader. Uh, we took some pictures this morning, and we're just here to support the community, making sure that uh, she's young and involved, and us parents are here, making sure that we network, and it really takes a village, huh? Uh, so I'm legendary, guys. <laughs> we all hope to be. Uh, this is just a basic tea, but uh, of course, everybody wants to have their story told. Um, How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, man? Eh, I'm dominating, like I usually do. Yeah. Well, I was thinking, I know what you were thinking. You were thinking, let's go and find Bill Hogan, Bob Saltzman, and we even heard that there are a couple of historical societies here. No way, really? Yep, let's go. Good idea, me. Good idea. We brought a lot today. This t this particular table here is athletically um, related. We have a couple of plans in the in the works. One is a Brockton Athletic Hall of Fame, which is a little different than the Brockton High School Athletic Hall of Fame uh, because we can include people that didn't go to Brockton High School, Cardinal Spellman, Southeastern Regional, and of course two of our greatest athletes, neither one of them graduated from Brockton High, and Rocky Marciano and Marvin Hagler. So ironically, they're not in the Brockton High School Athletic Hall of Fame. Our Athletic Hall of Fame would probably Im include everyone that's already in the Brockton High School Athletic Hall of Fame. Uh, we would just take the whole bunch. And uh, we don't have a location yet other than my museum downtown. And um, we have horses involved, some thoroughbreds, some sulkies, we have dogs. Uh, dog racing used to be in a, at uh, the fairgrounds, believe it or not. Uh, whippets is what they called them. And that's going way back. So we, that, the Olympic Hall of Fame is so vast, we're not even close to getting even uh, anywhere near the completion. We barely started. Brockton history, football, swimming, wrestling, I mean, athletic history in Brockton is fantastic. Um, the other table over here is the uh, boxing. And we're planning an outdoor boxing, we call it a living outdoor boxing museum that would be near Salisbury Park. This is in the planning stages. We haven't even approached the city on it yet. Um, it, would, it wouldn't be anything permanent. It would be uh, rotating uh, exhibits uh, such as um, banners with uh, boxing records, personalities, photographs, and it, it would change up every once in a while. And obviously it would be a, be a, uh, a summertime, spring, spring something wouldn't be able to do too much in the winter um, so that's just two of the things that we have and um, so our museum is designed to get out into the community like we are here at Summerfest uh, we have our own festival coming up downtown Fest Brockton that'll be in September and October and it's just to get the community together it's business orientated we're trying to help the businesses downtown um, so it's just a it's an extension of the Summerfest only it's downtown <laughs> Lauren Filippo, the woman, the myth, the legend, the woman of the hour, Tower of Power. I will say Twisted Steel and Sex Appeal, but I don't know if I can say that on TV. Uh, it's so, public access. I don't know if we can do that. That's right. That's right. So, LD, um, I'm sure that Matt asked you really in-depth questions. What's happening today? Uh, tell us about Summerfest. Uh, how long have you been doing this? Uh, since 2011. So. Okay, so that's when it, it was Summer it Sunday. Back, yeah. okay. Oh, no, well, it came back, yeah. It came back. All right, and it's all thanks to you? That's what you were telling well, me off me. camera? No, no, it's not all thanks oh, to me. Oh, okay. It's thanks to a lot of dedicated volunteers who give up their time all year long to make a free, fun day for families in the city of Brockton. So that would include, that includes many people, but give us the list. Uh, oh, name, name. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. And when I'm she forgets somebody. Obviously, uh, the Brockton 
the first foundation, is, I might just do groups because then it's easier. But um, our core group of volunteers is Bill Magali, Nancy Crucius, Jean Mech, Janet Trask, and myself, um, and Amy Corum, who uh, came on board with us about three years ago, and she's been unintended instrumental in helping us get performers and groups to participate. So as a as a you know professionally trained pianist, I think that's funny to say about her. called domination. I think Charlie the Caterpillar is starting to follow me, though. I'm getting a little worried. See ya, see ya, Charlie. Yeah. He's, I think he's a little intense. All right, we got a beautiful a cappella group that's going to be playing in a bit. Uh, they're rehearsing and in the corridor, and uh, let's listen in. Jocelyn, me? How are you? Not as good as you. I think we had a pretty good show. We're wrapping things up. Boys, boys, what'd you think today, Postman? I thought it was good. Unbelievable. Yeah. Turn out. Mad Dog? I plead the fifth. Phil, Phil, what do we got? Everything I dreamed of and more. And Isaac? More. It was out of this world. We gotta come back next year. Well said. For everyone in what North Maine, including executive producer Mark Laney and producer Aaron Tebow. I'm Jay Miller. Isaac DeRosa. Matt Mad Dog Matt Nelson, Postman Mike Simmons, Phil Filippides, and for executive producer Mark Linney, producer Aaron Tebow, I'm Jay Miller. We will see you around town. All right, you go first.